just out. Hang on. Hold up. It's loose. And she's out. I want to think this through before. Look at that, dude. Yeah, the whole back oh, end's out. What's loose? That? We get it up, let's just stick some piece of plywood like in each corner in the front and we'll drop it, let it back down and then retain it. You know what I mean? Hopefully we'll get it back in there. It's going to scratch it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, pick it up. Easy does it. Alright. Got it flipped over. Just got finished wet sanding the sides with real fine 800 grit sandpaper and the bottom has been sanded with 600 grit. Just sprayed everything down, but it is all coming together. Starting to see some results, all the sanding and polishing. And gotta get a feel for the size of the boat. You can see the outside of the mold with the bracing framework around it making some good progress if so we got a full a full transom there we can do a big single twins a bracket a lot of options as far as what kind of power we could put on this boat this is kind of a cool shot from up high we can see how much room it is gonna be awesome gonna be awesome Going around the other side. Hopefully, this fall we'll have the mold all ready to go and be ready to start laying up a hull. Get the first one built. Let's 
super exciting. All right, y'all, big day. We are fixing to spray the gel coat. Got Mark down here, got the mold prepped and ready. Gel coat gun right there, locked and loaded. We got some heaters running, so that's what you hear in the background. So, uh, pretty big day. Got my brother down here, got Mark down here. He's on the other side. What's going on, Mark? You wanna be on YouTube? <laughs> got our Michelin man suits on. We're fixing to spray this thing. Yeah, the gel coat astronaut. So. There she is. She's looking pretty good. Next phase is going to be some gel coat on this thing. Pretty excited about that. And that noise you hear, we're running some heaters. Running some heaters. Trying to just warm this thing up. Got the mold behind me trying to warm it up. We've done some test panels. We've got temperature up to about 60 degrees. That's the color. It's a gray. It's a test panel we shot there. So we got some gel coat down, it's kicked off. So we're fixing to shoot it. Next time you see this thing, it should be gray. All right, y'all, we have made it to the next step. We've got the gel coat sprayed in the mold. Yesterday we were kind of prepping and getting ready. Got her all waxed up. Y'all saw the mold prepped and ready. And now we got the gel coat on it. I'm gonna call that stealth gray. That's kind of a custom color came up with, wanted to something that's easy to maintain, low visibility, something really stealthy. Sneak up on the, sneak up on them big old fish. Looks pretty good though. My brother Mark's over there helping me. He's cutting glass this morning. We got a busy day ahead of us. We're gonna start putting glass on these edges and then we're gonna be start doing, putting some glass on the sides and on the bottom. That's what we call a skin coat or a skin out. Moving right along guys. We're here a couple days in now. We have made it through the gel coat We are now to the skin coat process. So if you look kind of behind me, you can see back here. We have got Gray gel coat still on the bottom and then you can see where we started laying fiberglass on the sides. We've got two layers of ounce and a half mat Around the transom and then all the way around the the rolled edge. This boat is a rolled gunnel boat so it's kind of got a Little different than your typical boat that you see in mass production this one's got a rolled gunnel and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be laminating we're going to be putting some glass right up here on the bottom we're going to get several layers on here we're going to skin that out and then we're going to start laminating right here on the sides so we've had some pretty decent weather it's been a little bit chilly but we've been running the heaters and uh, been trying to warm things up and make it where this fiberglass will kick and cure it's got to have a certain amount of Temperature, we need about 60 degrees minimum. And uh, there's the spray rig we've been using. That's our gun that we use for wetting out. You can see there's a big nozzle here on the end. We've got a big drum of resin on the cart right there. That's our 50 gallon drum of resin. Got our catalyst right there. All this apparatus mixes that and carries it right down that boom. And then we can spray it. But all the fiberglass on this boat is hand laid. So you can see you got our cutting table right there. Comes off of a roll. It's like a, like a fabric. We got different kinds of fabric depending on what we're gonna be doing. This is kind of a fairly light fabric called a mat or chop strand mat. And it's uh, basically a really good barrier coat and it helps kind of produce a really nice cosmetic finish. And then what we're gonna be doing the rest of the day is gonna be a heavier fabric. That's gonna be your biaxial, a 90 degree and a 45 degree. All right, y'all, we've made it to the next step here. You can see behind me, we've got the uh, mold tipped up on its side and you can see we've got a lot of glass laid in place. We've got we've got a total of four layers of biaxial on the sides and two ounce and a half mats. We got two layers of biaxial, a 1708 and a 1808 which is a 45 degree and a 90 on the bottom and we got four layers on the transom and uh, we are cutting some glass right now. Got the table over here set up, pulling out pieces, cutting them we got the gun primed and ready. Got a fresh barrel of resin on this thing. Good morning. Moving right along, y'all. We are here at day, I think it's day five or six of laminating. Uh, we are making a lot of progress. Got the mold here behind me. You can see we've got pretty much four layers on everything. So we got uh, four layers of, of the biaxial, the 90 degree and the 45. You can see we're looking at the bow of the boat. There's the whole bottom. You see all the runners we've kind of laminated right down. It's kind of a 
takes a lot of attention to detail to get that saturated right down in that little groove, but it adds a lot of strength to the boat. Then back here to the transom, we're gonna be doing two more layers on the transom today, and then two more layers of uh, material on the, on the bottom. On the bottom over there. So there it is. I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding. We're gonna kinda knock down these little seams. Knock down these little seams today. Good morning, everybody. So check this out. We are back in the shop, and uh, we worked late last night, and we got the hull laid up. So we're getting really, really close now. We've got a total of six layers on the floor, on the bottom of the boat, the hull, a total of four layers, plus two layers of the, uh, the skin coat. So there's actually six layers total, but they're all, not all the same layers. And then we got eight layers on the bottom. So six layers of biaxle, two layers of ounce and a half mat on the bottom, four layers of biaxle, and two layers of ounce and a half on the sides. And then we got six layers on the transom, the transom all laid up and we're probably going to put like say four probably four more layers of ounce and a half mat and embed our core in there so this is the first time me actually being up in the boat with the hull complete as far as the main outer laminate is concerned we're getting ready to install the transom in today we've got the uh, core cut out that's a 26 pound density uh, polyurethane core with fiberglass fibers that's a what they call a kusa board and these are two layers that will be laminated. We'll put one layer in, let it kind of cure. Then we're going to put a second layer in, and they're going to be held in place. I've got some big clamps that I've made that are back here. Those are going to be uh, those are clamps that are made for holding that core into place. And then you've got the glass that we're going to bed it in. So we got four layers of ounce and a half, uh, what they call chop strand mat, or we just call it mat. And that's going to be kind of like the glue that we stick that core material in and uh get ready to that's where we're going to be bolting the motor on so it's got to be super super tough all right y'all we are back and we have made some progress i know it's been a minute since you guys seen me last i apologize it's been a few days since we've been inside the boat but we have been working hard 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 and i'm going to show you guys where we are now we have got the stringers or the backbone of the boat we call them stringers in place and we've got the transom so we've got the transom core installed. That's inch and a half thick. It's two layers of three quarter inch, 26 pound Kusa. That's a high density polyurethane with fiberglass reinforcement. Got that installed. And we got the stringers partially glassed in. So we got all the forward stringers done. I'm gonna walk up here and show you. Got four of them. There's two, two on this side, two on that side. You can see we got the biaxial glass. They're all tabbed in. And then we've got the aft stringers, we got this big transverse, it goes across, got it all biaxled in, and then we've got the big main stringers all tabbed in place right now with a high strength, like a fiberated putty down those seams. And then on uh, this one side over here, we've got it, haven't glassed it yet, but you can see over here on this side, we've got it glassed. You can see the biaxle, the glass tied into the hull. So that's three layers on the corners. We've got basically some strips that lap, two, two smaller strips, and then we got one layer that runs all the way up to the top. And then that's what the floor of the boat is gonna rest on, I'm gonna sit on. And I don't know if you guys can get a sense of scale. I know it's kind of hard looking at the GoPro, but these back here are 16 feet long, and these up front are a little over eight feet long. So uh, the floor on this boat is longer than the Kenner, my other boat is. And uh, I got my brother, He's showing up. Mark is supposed to be here this afternoon. And uh, we got a bunch of strips cut out and we're about ready to start doing some glassing on this thing. So you can see our fiberglass, our table over there with our rolls, rolls of material. And we've got some strips cut over there. All right, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed that footage there. That kind of summarizes a little bit. Now there were thousands of hours involved in the process to get to this point. But uh, obviously you don't wanna see all that. That's kind of a very, very condensed version. But at least you guys know that we are actually building a boat and kind of get an idea of how big it is, what it's gonna look like, and uh, what to expect. The new boat's gonna be bigger, it's gonna be faster, it's gonna have more, uh, more power, more fuel, more room, more comfort. In every way it allows us to do what we've been doing, but it allows us to do more as far as offshore fishing and do it more comfortably. 
So, uh, hey, once again, y'all, as always, we genuinely appreciate the views. The subscriptions help every single one. We're trying to build the channel, and uh, and it encourages me. Every time I get a, a new subscription, uh, I get a little excited. I'm like, that's one more one more person that's watching the channel and uh, appreciating what we're doing here. Uh, if y'all want to see something in particular, some likes and comments are always appreciated. Let me know what we can do to make this channel more entertaining for you guys and you gals. So, uh, hey, once again, y'all, Captain Joe here with Island Marine Charters, and we will catch y'all next time out.